again, we want to start off with a tip and we want to make sure that we write neatly. And not only do we want to want to make sure our numbers are neat, we want to make sure that the digits and decimal points and symbols are lined up correctly on top of each other. If we follow these two steps, we will it will help us be a lot more accurate. It will make our life as a mathematician much easier. So let's with that in mind, let's start with 4000 326 plus 2,467. If you notice, my numbers are neat and easy to read, and the columns, the one column, ones column, are lined up on top of each other. The tens digits are lined up on top of each other. The hundreds digits are lined up on top of each other and the thousands digits are lined up on top of each other. This is very important when we do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It will really help us become more accurate as mathematicians. So we'll always start in the ones column and then we slowly move ourselves over from the ones column to the left to the tens column to the hundreds column, to the thousands column, and if there were more numbers, we'd keep moving left until we have nothing else to add. So six plus seven is 13. We'll put the three down here, and then we'll carry the one over to the tens column. And now we have one plus two, and that is three, and three plus six is nine. And we'll write that number directly below this column of numbers. Now 3 plus 4 is 7. Bring that comma down here. That separates the this period of numbers from the next period. And 4 plus 2 is 6. So the sum is 6,793. Another tip for you when you're working with large numbers is if you can say it, you can write it. So it's excellent practice every time you're coming across numbers that are large that you practice saying them. 6,793. And as you do that, you're saying the place value of each number. Six thousands means that this six is in the thousands column the thousands place, 6,700, this seven is in the hundreds place, 6,793. This is nine is in the tens place, and the three is in the ones place. And it's very helpful for you to be able to say these numbers, and if you can say them, you can write them, 6,793. Let's check this problem using the inverse operation. 6,793 subtract, just bring this number over, 2,467. And as I write this, I'm writing neatly and making sure that the numbers are lined up correctly. 3 minus 7 I cannot do, so I need to borrow from the 9. So I'm going to take 1 from this 9. The 9 becomes 8. And I'll add this over here. So this 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 7 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. Bring the, col the comma down. And 6 minus 2 is 4. So we have 4,326. And up here we have 4,326. So we know that this answer, 6,793, is correct. Let's add an even larger number. Let's add 15,986. 
plus 13,855. And again, it's very easy as you're writing these large numbers, if you're not careful, to get the different places mixed up. And that will help you get an incorrect answer. So as you're writing them neatly, make sure the numbers are in the correct column all the way across. I can't emphasize this enough. Six plus five, we're starting in the ones place as always. Six plus five is 11. We put one down here, we carry the one. One plus eight is nine. Nine plus five is 14. We put the four down, carry the one. One plus nine is 10. 10 plus eight is 18. So we put the eight down here. Put the comma, carry the one. One plus five is six. Six plus three is nine. One plus one is two. So we put this down and our sum is 29,000. 841. So this 2 is in the 10 thousands place, the 9 is in the thousands place, the 8 is in the hundreds place, the 4 is in the tens place, and the 1 is in the ones place. 29,841. Let's check that using the inverse operation. 29,841 minus 13,855. Again, my numbers are written neatly, and the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, the thousands column, the ten thousands column are all lined up vertically on top of each other. Start always in the ones place. One minus four. We can't do that, so we go over to this four. We borrow from the four, so the four becomes a three. This one becomes 11. 11 minus five is six. Going here to the tens column. Three minus five we can't do because five is larger than three. So we borrow from the 8. So this 8 becomes 7. This 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. 7 minus 8. We can't do that, so we need to borrow from the 9. So the 9 becomes 8. The 7 becomes 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. Bring this comma down. 8 minus 3 is 5. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So now we have a 1 in the 10 thousands place, 5 in the thousands place, 9 in the hundreds place, eight in the tens place, and six in the ones place. So we have 15,986, and that's what we had up here, 15,986. So we know our answer is correct using the inverse operation.